Hey guys, it's Timmy with Media Hawk. Yes, I have a mustache. No, I do not know how I feel about it. Let me know in the comments how you feel about it and we'll see if I still have one by my next video. Today I'm going to show you how to get an email notification every time a customer fills out a form or submits their information to your BotPress bot. Before I jump in with the tutorial, first I want to show you what the end product looks like because I absolutely hate watching developer videos and they don't show you what the project they're working on is until after the video is over. So I'll go ahead and do that right now. Also keep in mind, I just had surgery on my wrist, so I might type a little slower than I normally do, but I'll just put it in fast forward for you. So here on the left, we have our bot that's built through BotPress. Here on the right, we have access to the email. This could be the email of whoever's in charge for reaching out to potential leads. The user can come to our bot and say hi, interact with our bot as they usually would, right? Then when the user requests a human, the bot will ask, would you like to reach out to us or would you like someone to reach out to you? So as the user here, I'll go ahead and click, I'd like someone to reach out to me. The bot will ask for my information. I will say something like, my name is Mickey and my phone number is yada yada and submit it to the bot. The bot will record this information and ask me for a confirmation. Is this your correct information? I'll say yes. And the bot will go ahead and put me in a queue. It'll give me a confirmation saying I've been put in the queue. On the email here, whoever's in charge of reaching out to the leads should get an email and here it is saying bot press actions, Mickey is requesting help. And click on it, go inside of it. Mickey is waiting for someone to reach out. Here's the phone number that was given through the bot. So in order to follow along with this tutorial, you're gonna need a Zapier account. Zapier is the automation tool that we use to link BotPress to Gmail. And obviously we're gonna need an account with BotPress. You're gonna have to set up your bot and we'll implement a little bit of code in one of the cards. I'll post the code for you and I'll also post a BotPress link. If you don't have a BotPress account already, it is an affiliate link, but if you use it, it helps me out. If you don't use it, then don't use it. That's fine too. Okay, so once you've signed up with both of those accounts, those are the only two accounts we're gonna need for this tutorial. This is essentially what our Zapier Zap is going to look like. And this is essentially what our BotPress layout is gonna look like. So we have our entry node here in BotPress. We'll go ahead and create a new standard node. This is where we're gonna capture our information. So I'll go ahead and name this capture. I'm gonna add a card. I'm gonna add a raw input card. I'm gonna ask the user to provide their info here. So I'll say, please provide name and phone or email. And we're gonna store this information in a new variable. We'll call it bot user. We'll call it bot user response. After we've captured this information, we'll add a card here. This is gonna be an AI task. So I'll add the AI task. On our instructions here, we wanna tell the AI to extract the person's name and contact information from the input and store it in the respective variables. Here for our AI task input, we're gonna give it that variable we just created, which is workflow.botUserResponse. Which variables are we storing the output in? We're gonna create variables such as name, email, and phone number. Here we can provide our AI with a task example. Inside of our task example, we can tell the AI how we want the information stored. In the task example input, we'll put my name is Jeremy Hawkstrasser, my phone number is yada yada, and my email is diz at me.com. In these variables here, we want the AI to capture Jeremy Hawkstrasser, this has my phone number and my email to be diz at knee.com. After the AI has 
properly stored that, we'll send a confirmation to our user just so that they feel better and give them a chance to correct any typos if they entered their information wrong. So here we'll add a new card to our capture node. This will just be a text card where we repeat back to the user and the message to send to the user can be something like, perfect, workflow.name, is this your contact information? And have it read back the phone number that was captured and the email that was captured. After this, we're gonna create a new standard node where we're gonna execute some code. So I'll add the card, execute code. However, we're gonna pause bot press here and we're gonna head over to Zapier. So now that I'm here in Zapier, I'm gonna create a new zap. I'll click trigger here and I wanna search hook. After I've clicked hook, I want to tell it the event. Catch hook is what we wanna select here. We'll continue. For our trigger, we'll go ahead and click continue because we want the entire payload, which Zapier gives you by default. Now that we have all that set up, Zapier is gonna give us a webhook URL. We're gonna copy this webhook to our clipboard because we're gonna need that. Now we can come back over to BotPress, click our execute code card that we added just a minute ago. We're gonna paste in this code here. I'll put the link to this code in the description so that you can use it. It's very simple. It's basically just sending over the name, the email, and the phone number, all three of those variables that we captured from our user just a little bit ago in the conversation. And here, we're gonna change our webhook URL variable to that URL that we just copied from Zapier. So I'll paste that URL in there, exit out of here, add a card to text the user saying, you've been put in a queue. Just a little confirmation message to send back to the user. Now let's make sure we connect that node to our exit card or our end card, depending on what workflow you're in and we should be able to test out our bot. Let's run the emulator. We can see here that our bot is asking us for our name, phone number, and email. I'm going to put my name is Jeremy, this is my phone number, this is my email. And we get our information read back to us along with our confirmation saying we'd be put in a queue. Now we can head back over to Zapier, test our trigger, and we have our information sent through our bot captured in Zapier now. Now we're gonna add an action to our zap. We're gonna type in Gmail, select Gmail, choose an event. We want to send an email. Select send an email, click continue. Yours will probably ask you to connect your Gmail account to Zapier. However, mine is already hooked up, so I don't have that step. Next, I'll click continue. We're gonna fill out some information here. So our email is gonna go to whoever is in charge of reaching out to your leads. In my case, I'm just gonna send an email to myself. So I'll type in my email. I'll skip CC, I'll skip BCC from the Gmail account that you just logged into. I'm gonna skip from name, I'm gonna skip reply to, I'll put in subject here. This can be whatever subject you want it to be. You can say something like urgent, and then the user's name is requesting help. In the body, we're gonna do plain, and here we're gonna put in our users information that we just captured such as the name and contact is email and phone number make sure you select from this drop down list so that Zapier knows that that's the information that needs to be sent in the email next we're going to click continue 
We'll test this step. I can go check my email real quick. And I should have an email. Urgent, Jeremy Hochstrasser is requesting help. Nice, so we know that it's working. Now make sure you hit publish. Just to throw it all together, let's retest with our chat bot. And each step should be completed. So now our bot is ready to be published. I'll say human to get into the workflow that I have created on the side. This is where it's asking me, please provide name, email, and phone number. I'll say, I'll say my name is Jimmy John. My email is Jimmy at John.com. And my phone is 911. 911. 911. Send. Our AI task has been completed. Our information was captured correctly. And we got our confirmation saying we've been put in the queue. I'll come over. I'll refresh my email account. And there we go. We have an email from me saying urgent. Jimmy John is requesting help. Here we have Jimmy John's name, contact is, the email we collected, and the phone number we collected.